Hello friends, welcome to this lecture where we are going to discuss about the factors which affect the slope of IS curve. Right? You can see here determinants of the slope of IS curve. You must have learned how to derive IS curve. Right? You uh, also might have learned how to derive LM curve but we also need to know the factors which affect the slope of IS curve, the factors which affect the slope of LM curve, right? And why slope of IS curve and slope of LM curve are important? They are important because it is the slope which is going to decide the effectiveness of fiscal policy and monetary policy. And I am saying here effectiveness of fiscal policy and monetary policy primarily I am talking in terms of that to what extent change in fiscal policy and change in monetary policy is going to change the level of income right if your income changes more in response to change in fiscal policy or monetary policy then those policies are very effective right if income change is less due to change in either fiscal policy or monetary policy, then either of the policies is ineffective or less effective, right? So this is what uh, the significance of slope is uh, uh, in the context of ISLM model and analyzing the effectiveness of fiscal policy and monetary policy. So let us talk today about the factors which determine the slope of IS curve. So first we have, as you know, how do we derive IS curve, right? So we assume a specific level of interest rate. So let us say interest rate is I0, right? At this interest rate, your aggregate demand is AD I0, right? I mean AD corresponding to I0 interest rate, okay? So at I0 interest rate, the equilibrium level of income we can get in this diagram at the intersection point of AD and that 45 degree line, right, at E0, right? So the E0 gives you equilibrium level of income. So you get Y0, right, and I0, a combination at which goods market is in equilibrium, right? So we get that point at A. So A is the combination of Y0 and I0, right, at which goods market is in equilibrium. Fine. This is general uh, derivations of IS curve. Now suppose if interest rate falls, if interest rate falls, right, uh, uh, what happens? Investment rises and when investment rises, aggregate demand shifts up, right? This black line which is here for aggregate demand that shifts up, right? So you get new aggregate demand line and that new aggregate demand line intersects the 45 degree line at point E1 that gives us equilibrium level of income Y1. So we get Y1 equilibrium level of income corresponding to I1 interest rate, right? Now that combination of Y1 and I1 is represented by point B, right? So when we join A and B, what do we get? We get IS curve. That is what uh, we have learned in derivations of IS curve, right? Now when we are talking about the factors which affect the slope of IS curve, there are two factors, right? One is alpha G and other is B. What is alpha G? Alpha G is the multiplier, right? Alpha G is multiplier and alpha G we write generally as what you call 1 upon 1 minus C into 1 minus T, right? 1 minus T. So this is what your uh, multiplier is, right? That is what your alpha G, okay? And what is B? B is sensitivity of money demand to, sorry, uh, B is the sensitivity of investment demand to change in interest rate, right? So if, uh, okay, so that is what your small b and this is what your alpha g, right? Now when we are deriving this IS curve, we are assuming a specific level of alpha g, right? A specific level of alpha g, right? And what determines that specific level of alpha g? What is the marginal propensity to consume? And what is the tax rate, right? What is the marginal propensity to consume and what is tax rate, right? So 
in fact what you call this is small c and is small t right they are reflected in the slope of ad as you know that slope of aggregate demand is the slope of consumption line and the slope of consumption line is nothing but uh, c into 1 minus t right so this is how we get this aggregate demand line right so given this alpha g that means given marginal propensity to consume and tax rate we are able to derive this black color is curve right black color is curve now what happens to the slope of is curve as we know that there are two factors which determine the slope of is curve one is the alpha g and another is the b so suppose if we are trying to find out the effect of change in alpha g on the slope of is curve right so how does change in alpha g affects the slope of is curve right that is what we uh, we, we are going to uh, understand or find out right so now suppose alpha g rises now you get uh, what you call uh, uh, it is it is alpha g prime right and now this alpha g prime we are assuming is greater than is greater than alpha g right is greater than alpha g now what might have caused to the rise of alpha g either rise in marginal propensity to consume or fall in tax rate or fall in tax rate suppose suppose that tax rate remains the same but marginal propensity to consume is now higher right marginal propensity to consume is now higher now when a society has got marginal propensity to consume how higher marginal propensity to consume then how does that affect the slope of is curve because once we understand or we are able to find out the slope of is curve we can easily predict that in that society which policy would be effective fiscal policy would be effective or monetary policy would be effective right so uh, so here your alpha g rises from alpha g to alpha g dash assuming that marginal propensity to consume has increased marginal propensity to consume has increased so now you have for this alpha g the value of multiplier basically is written as 1 upon 1 minus c dash into 1 minus t right assuming assuming that c dash is greater than c right so c dash is a marginal propensity to consume but the value of this marginal propensity to consume is higher than the previous marginal propensity to consume right so now we can derive the is curve corresponding to a situation where marginal propensity to consume is higher than what it was previously right now once marginal propensity to consume rises what will happen the slope of consumption line will rise as we know that slope of consumption line is positively related to value of marginal propensity to consume if mpc is higher the slope of consumption line would be higher if the mpc is lower the slope of consumption line would be lower right and aggregate demand slope is determined by aggregate demand slope is determined by what the slope of consumption line because all other components of aggregate demand when they are represented in terms of graph their slope is zero so it is the consumption line who has got positive slope which is determined by marginal propensity to consume and tax rate so suppose marginal propensity to consume rises then what happens that this aggregate demand line the black one now becomes steeper right so you get now new aggregate demand line what you call ad dash right ad dash now this ad dash right we are deriving corresponding to which interest rate corresponding to i naught assuming that interest rate in the economy is at i naught now at this interest rate i naught right uh, what happens to aggregate demand at different level of income so this is what your aggregate demand line is right so your aggregate demand line is steeper because the marginal propensity to consume has increased right now so therefore you get new uh, what you call uh, autonomous uh, uh, what you call uh, 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 component of aggregate demand a dash uh, prime okay sorry uh, a bar prime okay now this new aggregate demand line basically intersects the 45 degree line at e naught 
okay and therefore it gives us y not uh, prime equilibrium level of income right now this y not prime equilibrium level of income is higher than previous equilibrium level of income anyway so this y not prime equilibrium level of income is associated with which interest rate such that goods market is in equilibrium i not right now we can show that a uh, new combination of income and uh, what you call uh, interest rate in this space by point a prime right so the a prime represents what a new combination and that combination of income and interest rate is what y not dash and uh, y not prime and i not right so which is given at point a right now in a situation where mpc is higher and economy experiences fall in interest rate right from i uh, not to i1 so when interest rate falls investment rises when interest rate falls investment rises how much rises the investment the rise in investment is again equal to b into delta small i that means rise in investment is equal to b into change in interest rate right b measures the sensitivity of investment to interest rate so we are assuming that all b and tax rate they all remain the same the only thing changes in new situation is the marginal propensity to consume which rises okay now when investment rises previously also remember previously also previously also investment used to rise by b delta i when we have got this new aggregate demand line which is represented here by green right ad uh, prime right here also when interest rate falls the rise in investment is the same right and therefore upward shift of this green line will be of the same magnitude which we used to observe in case of black aggregate demand line right okay so you get now this uh, this what you call uh, uh, new aggregate demand line uh, what you call uh, okay which we are putting here as ad prime uh, corresponding to which interest rate i1 interest rate now so this aggregate demand line gives equilibrium level of income at y1 prime right that we are deriving on the basis of where this new aggregate demand line corresponding to i1 interest rate is intersecting the 45 degree line right so it is at e1 prime right so that gives us y1 prime now this y1 prime equilibrium level of income is associated with which interest rate i1 interest rate now that combination we can show in this second diagram uh, uh, which is here y1 prime and i1 so that point would be located exactly to the right side of uh b right and let us uh, 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 mark that as b prime right now when we join a prime and b prime we get is curve the way earlier we used to get is curve by joining a and b right so we get new is curve which i am writing here as ac uh, is prime right so what is the result the result is that when alpha g rises then slope of slope of is falls the slope of is falls right and when with the same logic if alpha g falls then the slope of is curve rises right now what is the economic meaning of it the economic meaning of it is the following that when mpc is lower when mpc is lower in the economy the fall in interest rate due to expansionary monetary policy leads to rise in income only by y not y1 but in a society when mpc is higher which happens primarily in developing countries right the same monetary policy which leads to reduction of interest rate from i not to i1 leads to how much change in income y not prime and y1 prime if you compare y not prime y1 prime with y not and y1 the y not prime y1 prime is greater right that means in a in a situation in a in an economy when mpc is higher the same expansionary monetary policy 
leads to more change in equilibrium income, more change in GDP, and that would make uh, uh, make uh, 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 to appear that uh, what do you call governor of the central bank is more effective in raising the level of output by reducing the rate of interest or by increasing the money supply right so this is what the implications of slope of is curve similarly if you have a very what do you call uh, uh, a vertical kind of is curve what will happen the same reduction in interest rate would cause little change in equilibrium income in that situation you can say that this uh, central bank governor is not effective in raising the level of output so merely you can't blame the governor of the central bank for its uh, what you call uh, for its uh, for what you call uh, uh, I mean more or less uh, what you call contribution in raising uh, the level of uh, GDP okay so that is what the uh, uses of uh, what you call slope of IS curve right so this is what the discussions about that how alpha G affects the slope of IS curve. Now there is another component which affects the slope of IS curve that is what you call B. What is B? B is the B is the sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate. That means if interest rate changes to what extent investment changes? If investment changes more right then what do you call investment is more responsive to change in rate of interest when investment changes less due to change in interest rate then investment is less responsive to change in interest rate generally it happens that when you have got economic recession at large scale and at very huge scale then even though you reduce the rate of interest investment does not rise because there is no demand and in that situation investment becomes irresponsive to uh, what do you call uh, change in interest rate right uh, so, given this non-responsiveness or responsiveness of what you call uh, investment to uh, change in interest rate, right? We try to find out that how that responsiveness of uh, investment to change in interest rate affect the slope of IS curve. That means how does value of B affects the slope of IS curve, right? Now again, here I have drawn two IS curve corresponding to two different level of b right so the first we have first we have uh, uh what do you call investment uh, being given here by i bar minus b i and corresponding to this investment function i have derived this black is uh, curve right the process is the same that when i naught is the interest rate equilibrium level of income that we get on the basis of aggregate demand right uh, that gives us y naught equilibrium level of income this y naught we get here in the second diagram right so the combination of y naught and i i naught is represented by point a right now when interest rate falls given this b right uh, investment definitely rises right and the rise of investment is uh, as i have previously said is equal to b into delta i right so that is what your rise of investment in is equal to sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate and this is your change in interest rate right so then when interest rate falls investment rises and this is what the extent of rise of investment that leads to upward shift of this aggregate demand line right this is your rise in uh, investment right so aggregate demand rises and you get now uh, equilibrium level of income y1 this combinations of y1 right and this y1 is associated with which interest rate i1 interest rate. So we get new combination of uh, income and interest rate at point B and when we join A and B we get one IS curve. So this IS curve has been derived with respect to this investment functions where the value of sensitivity of investment to interest rate change in interest rate is small b. Right? Now suppose take a situation in an economy where investment is more responsive to change in interest rate. Right? So in that scenario you have got new investment function which is your i is equal to i bar minus b dash uh, b prime i so this is now your uh, uh, what you call new scenario investment function right where b dash 
b dies is greater uh, b prime is greater than b b prime is greater than b now when b prime is greater than b what does it mean that investment has become more responsive to change in interest rate fine now with a new scenario for an economy where sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate is higher right at the same interest rate i not right we have got aggregate demand line here being represented as ad prime right at i not interest rate which is little higher than the previous one okay so we get now intersection point at e not prime and that gives us y not prime equilibrium level of income now this y not prime equilibrium level of income is associated with which interest rate i not interest rate now can we find that combinations in the second diagram it must be easy for you now because you have done lot more how you know a lot more with respect to derivations of i's curve right so you get a uh, new uh, combinations here uh, which is which which represents what y not prime and i not right so now that combination we can show by point a and that point a remember a, a, a sorry a prime and that point a prime is located exactly to the right side of a because at the same interest rate you got higher equilibrium level of income fine now now in the new scenario when the investment uh, sensitivity to interest rate has gone up then interest rate it falls from i not to i1 from i not to y i1 what will happen investment will change will rise or fall if interest rate falls here investment will rise how much will be rise of investment the rise of investment would be equal to what i'm writing here delta i let me write it as delta i prime just to show that it's a new situation uh, and uh, what you call this is your change in investment so change in investment would be what equal to b dash uh, sorry b prime b prime into delta i so delta i is the same which used to happen in case of the previous situation but what has increased the b has increased it is now b prime right so if b prime is greater then b then definitely delta i prime would be greater than delta would will be greater than delta i what does it mean that with new scenario a new situation when sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate has gone up the same reduction in interest rate would cause now more change in investment and therefore what will happen the upward jump right upward jump of this red aggregate demand line which is represented by ad prime would be more than what it used to happen in case of the black aggregate demand line right so you get now this uh, magnitude of change in investment which is your delta i prime okay investment has gone up more than what it used to go when the sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate was lower right so we get now new aggregate demand line ad prime corresponding to i1 interest rate and that intersects the 45 degree line at e1 prime and that gives us new equilibrium income which i am putting here as y1 prime now this y1 prime is associated with which interest rate such that goods market is in equilibrium this y1 prime is associated with i1 interest rate right this y1 prime or this y1 prime is associated with i1 interest rate such that goods market is in equilibrium now that combinations we can identify at a point which is located exactly to the right side of b and above y not prime right so if i uh, identify that point here b prime so now if i join a prime and b prime what do i get i get new is line or new is curve is prime so what has happened to the slope of is curve if the value of sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate has gone up the slope of is curve has reduced the slope of is curve has reduced you could see which one is more steeper is or is prime 
it is 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 more steeper that means the slope of is is more right and the slope of is prime is less that means what if the value of if the value of b rises small b rises right then the slope of is curve falls right and when the slope of, when the value of b falls right the slope of is curve rises so there is again inverse relationship the way we observed in case of uh, alpha g right so what we are able to find out that if b rises right the slope of is curve falls and when the value of b falls the slope of is curve rises so again there is inverse relationship between slope of is curve and the value of b right b is nothing but sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate so what we are able to conclude here that alpha g and b both affect the slope of is curve but how do they affect they affect inversely that means if alpha g rises slope of is curve falls could see here and if alpha g falls slope of is curve rises similarly if value of b rises the slope of is curve falls and when the value of b falls the slope of is curve rises here also you could see that when our central bank governor for example in case of india if rbi governor increases money supply right then in the case of red line right which is derived corresponding to a situation where sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate is higher right when you follow the expansionary monetary policy that reduces rate of interest from i not to i1 that leads to more change in income as compared to what it used to happen in a situation where sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate is lower right so when sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate is higher the same monetary policy becomes more effective and when the sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate is lower the same monetary policy is less, less effective imagine a situation when is curve is close to vertical in that situation whatever you do with interest rate you either raise or reduce right change in income would be smaller and in that in that scenario right you can't blame the central bank governor for his monetary policy being ineffective right it is not he who, he who is responsible what is the responsible factor it is it is those factors who are determining right the slope of is curve and here in the second uh, case here it is value of b right so it is the alpha g right normal government expenditure multiplier and the sensitivity of investment to change in interest rate they are the one who determine to what extent monetary policy would be effective and it is not only at this level right here the value of alpha g and value of b will also determine to what extent the fiscal policy would be effective right and uh, if you want to understand the implications of how uh, value of b and value of alpha g are uh, going to uh, what you call measure the effectiveness of fiscal policy or monetary policy you look at algebraic derivations of fiscal policy multiplier and monetary policy multiplier right in fiscal policy multiplier also uh, you have got presence of alpha g and b right and uh, in fiscal policy in 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 monetary policy multiplier also you have got the presence of what you call uh, 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 what do you call of uh, alpha g and uh, uh, what you call is small b in that uh, equations of uh, uh, monetary policy multiplier right so so you have got alpha g and b uh, playing very role in determinations of uh, slope of is curve i hope i am able to make myself clear with respect to discussions on determinants of slope of is curve with that